It's gotta be like one of the best feelings in the whole world. Hearing the rain droplets hit the roof. There's just something so relaxing. In my opinion, it's the best time to wake up laying in a warm bed. I was gonna do this video outside, but apparently the weather changed quite radically between the few hours I took a nap. So, I got a little bit further last night. I'm now headed to the Kilpisjärvi, aka the tri-border of Finland, Norway and Sweden. But, <laughs> yesterday I promised you I would do today this kind of a dare. I had promised to so many people I, I, I was gonna do. How many other countries have this uh, tradition or the kind of a habit after a winter that the first time you go swimming outdoors, let it be a river or a lake or a sea or pretty much anything that's outside that is not a warmed up pool or a spa hotel outside pool or pretty much when you go swimming in nature's own spa. Well, in Finland we have this tradition that when you go that first time swimming outside, it's, it's be, uh, there is a saying that you've just thrown your winter coat or your, you've just uh, shed your winter fur away. <laughs> It's this fun little saying that uh, whenever whenever summer starts coming and people go outside and people go to summer houses and cottages and life starts anew, uh, people then do share with others or on social media or to messaging or just in conversations that oh yeah last weekend by the way last weekend I threw my winter winter coat and the dare or promise that once I'd reach Nord, Nord Cup and the Arctic Ocean, I would go shed my winter fur there. So, <laughs> what's the better place than in cold, in cold outside air and the ocean that's literally probably the most icy, icy water on Earth? And last night was my time to shed my winter fur. And this is pretty much how it all went down. <laughs> I had I had way too much fun doing that. You'd think that after swimming in a minus half degrees <laughs> Celsius wa sea water and taking a warm nice shower afterwards, you'd feel like the sleepiest dog in the whole world. <laughs> but that wasn't the case for me. Actually, I got more energized just, just because of the swimming and showering. It's uh, it's ridiculous, but I went to sleep only like 6 a.m. and I took like four or five hour nap, pretty much. <laughs> and now I'm up all, all up again. But, uh, but yeah, the reason why it was so awesome to be awake at that, at that time of night, because I had actually seen the uh, sun set, but also I saw the sun rise on the other, other side of the... Uh, sea or this bay over here and it was beautiful it's <laughs> you should have been there to see it actually i took like over 200 pictures all over i threw my drone in the air and took more photos and video and whoo it felt like i'm never gonna catch that kind of a light show but oh shit Nap, it was just so pretty. 
and now about four or five hours later it's raining and the sky is full of clouds what happened to the sun it was so beautiful morning there was only sunshine and clear skies and no wind and oh man but then when i wake up next time it's raining no no sun anywhere it's Oh well, what's the better day to do video, videos inside and later on I get driving again. It might be that I'll reach Kilpisjärvi today if there, if there doesn't come anything else interesting to see on the way. But now, one of the main objectives for this journey, go swimming in the Arctic Ocean, check. Ah, I gotta see what else I can come up with today and tomorrow but I won't be keeping you any longer it's weekend anyway so have a great weekend have an awesome day and as always I hope to see all of you in the next video see you later ciao